Hey guys, let's see our next literary term. And as we are doing one to hundred. Okay, so this one is second. So hopefully you have watched my first video, the first literary term. If you have not that watched that yet, you can check out in comment box and then you can come to the second one or you can watch this one and then you can go to the first one. Let's start today's class. आज की क्लास के बारे में बात करते हैं आज का जो हमारे टॉपिक है वो है लिटरे टर्म एंड दिस वन इज सेकेंड वन मेला प्रोपिजम मेला प्रोपिजम इज हियर हियर इज द डेफिनेशन सबसे पहले डेफिनेशन देख लेते हैं मेला प्रोपिजम फाइंड्स इट्स ओरिजिन इन द फ्रेंच फ्रेज मेल अ प्रपोज विच मीन्स इन एप्रोप्रिएट सो सिंपली यू कैन राइट डाउन इफ यू आर मेकिंग योर शॉर्ट कर्ट्स यू कैन सिंपली राइट डाउन हियर इन appropriate malapropism inappropriate malapropism and if you are watching this video you it will be clear later with examples okay so don't forget to watch the examples it is the use of an incorrect word in place of the similar words so let's see let's see the examples to make it clear so here was a character malaprop mrs malaprop a character in sheridan's comedy the rivals there was a work by sheridan the name of the work is the rival rival mein ek uh, character tha uska naam tha mrs malaprop and who was in who has a habit of replacing words with incorrect and absurd utterances that's why producing a humorous effect that's why this is called malapropism so we will we will have here some examples like for instance replacing acute with obtuse acute obtuse okay apprehend to comprehend apprehend to comprehend so in such mistakes are called malapropism aise kuch mistakes agar kar writing mein ho jati hai to use literature mein malapropism kehte hain some funny you can find these funny you can find these humorous okay so for humorous effect they use it whether it is shakespeare okay or some other so let's see some examples from literature so here are some examples from our uh, life sometimes we are speaking it slip up tongue sometimes sometimes we don't have enough knowledge about the word and we use this and it becomes malapropism okay so this error or in appropriate word will bring effect of malapropism hopefully kya aapko samajh mein aa raha hoga ki malapropism is malapropism kya hai ki yahan par is line mein aapko malapropism dikhega ki like somebody is saying cheer up i predicate a final victory so he he was supposed to use pre predict okay and he used predicate here his capacity for hand hard liquor is incredulous incredible this does not portend or pretend to be a great work of art so is tarah agar aapko kahin par dikhta hai to wahan par aapko milega malapropism to hamare jo english literature ke kai sare exams hote hain unme puche jate hain ki isme kaun si line mein kaun sa ek literary term use hua hai ya aap kis tarah se isko literary device ko define kar sakte hain so it will help you now let's go to literature and find some examples from there Here is a big guy named uh, William Shakespeare. Okay, he was very intelligent person, but he did committed some mistakes there. So here is a work by him, Much Ado About Nothing, by William Shakespeare, and he made a mistake here. So let's see. Was writing this line, our watch, sir, have indeed comprehended to auspicious person. So here you can see. our watch so have indeed comprehended and here he wanted to write down apprehended apprehended likhna cha rahe the aur likh diya comprehended so here this is example of malapropism i hope it is clear now so let's go for the next one similarly an instance in of malapropism here you can see again by this hand they are scoundrels and subtractors that say no of him who are they and now the final one is from huckleberry finn by mark twain 
and uh, Mark Twain was writing this work and he wrote a line here I was most putrefied for astonishment so he was writing a putrefied so there is you know something like fishy so can you can you say something about this putrefied what could be the right word it was petrified so it was petrified but he by mistake or sometimes it can be the it can be possible that he wanted to bring some humor in his work okay otherwise it would be boring but he was trying to make it funny or humorous that's why he brought malapropism okay so hopefully you have got this word malapropism and uh, you will do two three things after watching this video or you have already done if not uh, just like share and comment and one thing every day at 7 30 you will meet me here okay on my channel bye bye take care see you we are completing 100 returns bye bye take care